Hey boys, it's Harm None. Today we're going to be customizing the Obey 8F Drafter in Grand Theft Auto Online. It's been quite a while since I've uh, since I've customized this vehicle, and I thought I should give it another customization today. Um, it's a pretty good car. It's all-wheel drive, and uh, it's it's got some pretty decent performance overall. And the customization is not bad either. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with the armor. We're going to go all the way up on this. The brakes, we've got to go all the way up on those as well. Uh, for the bumpers, we do have front and rear options for this car. I think that today I, hmm, I'm tempted to go for the street splitter. Um, in fact, I think that I am actually going to go for that option. Now for the rear bumper, we can go for the painted diffuser. Uh, the painted custom diffuser or the carbon custom diffuser. I'm gonna go for the carbon custom. I feel like it's like pretty good looking. I just wish that the front bumper had the uh, the street splitter, but in carbon. But unfortunately, that's uh, that's not a thing. I guess we could go for the carbon front splitter. Hmm, maybe we should do that actually, just to match up a little bit better. Let's let's go for it. For the engine, we're gonna go all the way up on that. For the exhausts, we have the oval exhaust, the titanium, the titanium tuner exhaust the twin carbon exhaust the race exhaust and the big bore exhaust the big bore is too big i don't really like it i do however like the twin carbon exhaust a lot so let's go for that option now for the grill uh, we can go for the carbon grill we can go for the performance grill the sports grill um, I want to go for the carbon grill because it's just it just sort of does the surround and I think that that looks uh, that looks pretty good So we'll go for that. Uh, we have a carbon hood option. We have a vented hood option scooped hood uh, Street hood as well the performance hood carbon performance tuner hood race hood or of course the carbon race hood as well um, I do kind of like the the race hood a little bit um, same with the tuner hood but i don't like them enough to actually do them i think if we're gonna go for an option on this car it's either gonna have to be the vented hood or the street or the scooped hood um let's go for the let's go for the vented hood i don't really love the scooped hood it kind of makes it look like it has like one nostril it's kind of strange uh for the headlights we're gonna go xenon for the neon kit let's go front back and sides for sure just to lower the center of gravity of the car we're gonna leave it white though for sure uh, we have the twin white stripe livery, we have the Obey stripe, the Obey coverage, the cracked 8F, the Urban Streets, Racing the Edge, Prolapse Golf, Motor Market Racing, Gutter, and Blood. We're not going to put a livery on today, I just don't think any of them look that good, so we'll leave them alone. Uh, custom Mirrors, does that make them carbon? It does make them carbon, let's go for that option because why not? Yellow and black for sure for the plate, uh, for the color of the car itself. What color do we want to go for? The last time I did one of these, I believe that I did a rolled steel. So I don't want to go for a rolled steel today. I want to go for something a little bit brighter, probably. Um, I just don't know what that is yet. I feel like we could go for something something quite different with like an olive green. I feel like I've never seen an olive green 8F drafter. I feel like that would be kind of a cool color to go for. Or a dark green. I kind of like that. What if we go for an olive green, but then we go for some sort of a some sort of a cool pearlescent? Let's let's figure out the secondary color quickly. It does the stitching on the seats. I actually like it in white, so we're gonna leave that alone. Now for the pearlescent, I would love to know what the stock pearlescent is, but I don't uh, I don't know what it is unfortunately. So I think that I kind of want to go for um, maybe a gold pearlescent or a bronze pearlescent on this. I feel like both of those look quite good. I feel like the gold pearl actually looks really nice. The bronze works really well too though. Hmm, you know what? Let's go... I feel like the gold might be too bright. I think let's go bronze for the pearlescent. So let's do that. For the roof, we can go for a painted roof scoop, a carbon roof scoop, a roof spoiler, carbon roof spoiler, tuner kit, or a racing kit. Um, honestly, I'm not a big fan of the of the scoop so i think we're going to avoid it we could go for a roof spoiler but i don't really know if i like the look of it that much i feel like it kind of looks odd so let's let's just leave that alone uh roof accessories we can go for a roof rack vortex generators or carbon vortex generators not a big fan of the vortex generators we're going to leave those alone uh, for the skirts though we will go for some carbon sport skirts i do like the look of that for the spoiler we can go for a small lip spoiler a big lip spoiler carbon big lip spoiler a tuner spoiler low level spoiler mid-level drift 
or a GT spoiler. I almost kind of like the mid-level spoiler, but I feel like it's too much for the car. I feel like we kind of have to go for the small lip spoiler. I feel like it's the only one that actually looks like good. So we'll go for that. Uh, we will go for the race suspension, I think. Do I want it that low? I kind of feel like sport suspension looks a little bit better. Let's go for that option. Super transmission though, we will go for that. That's kind of cool that this car has the super transmission. For the wheels, what if we went for some endos? I feel like, I feel like the endos on this car actually look pretty good. Um, we have the endo V1 or V2 that we can go for. We also have under, what is it? Is it under the street category? I think there's another endo that we have in here somewhere. Yes, there is. The endo V4 dished. I don't like that though. I don't like that very much. Sports category, let's see. I feel like the endo V1s actually fit this car quite nicely. What if we what if we go for these and then what if we put the wheels in a bronze of some sort? You guys probably knew the bronze was coming. Uh, anytime that I go for like a green, I feel like the bronze looks so good. Uh, stone silver is actually pretty nice as well. Um, I just want to go for something other than black. I feel like black is just it's too overdone at this point. What about dark ivory? Ooh, I almost like that. The bronze is sick, but the dark ivory is kind of cool. Now, I am colorblind, full disclosure, so the dark ivory might just look brown, but to me, it looks like just a little bit of a darker bronze, which I kind of like, and I kind of feel like it fits the car better. Please let me know in the comments down below if it's literally just brown, or if it is just kind of a darker bronze. Um, I'm going to go dark ivory today. I know that that might not be a super popular option, but we're going to go for it. Bulletproof tires for sure. Uh, wind deflectors? Why would I put that on this car? And especially they only go to the front. Like, no, I would no, I'm not doing that. Gross. Uh, limo tint for sure. Let's go for that. The only thing that I'm not 100% sold on are the wheels. I kind of want to go through and just see if there's anything else that we can go for, like wheel wise. I like the color. I like the color a lot. But just wheel wise, is there anything else that we can do that uh, looks at all better in any sort of way? I mean, the concave Mega Mesh do look fantastic on this car, but I think I've used them before, so I don't really want to do it again. Mercy Concaves, of course, look great. The Segoy Concaves, they're pretty all right. They're pretty all right, for sure. Oh, the Hyperfresh was something that I was interested in looking at. I don't know. I feel like. Eh, I feel like they don't look that great. I, f I feel like let's just keep the endos. Uh, let's take the car outside. I want to do a sound test on this thing, of course. And then, of course, we're going to get into the review um, of the car. So let's, uh, let's take a listen. This car does sound really, really good. Uh, the interior is the exact same as the Dubachi Spectre, which I customized not that long ago. Uh, so that's interesting to uh, to know. Um, so yeah, the interior is not, not that nice. Now the Obey 8F Drafter though is very nice. Uh, this is a fantastic car. I really like the Obey 8F Drafter. It's just so good in so many different ways. Like it's all wheel drive. You get great performance out of it. The acceleration, especially off the line is really good. But even after off the line, um, it keeps, you know, it keeps pulling pretty hard uh, for quite some time. The top speed of the vehicle is a little bit on the lower side, but it's not terribly low. That's for sure. Uh, so, you know, it, it is a decent car overall. It is within the sports category as well. In case you guys were wondering that, um, it's not going to win you any races in the sports category, so if you were hoping so, uh, don't get your hopes up because that's not, that's, no, it's not going to happen. Um, it's not that fast, it's definitely off the pace of uh, something like the Italia GTO or the Overflow to Morgan or the Grotti Italia RSX or the Pariah. Um, any of those cars, this thing will definitely not keep up with. Um, I would say that the Drafter is more suited as a free mode car, a car that you would take to car shows, things like that. Um, I think that that is, a, a, you know, something that this car uh, is very, very good at. Um, it's definitely, it's definitely far better suited for free mode than it is for racing and uh, and everything like that. So, you know, it, it is a very fun car to drive around. It's satisfying. It handles nicely and everything. Um, 
overall it is very good i'm quite happy with my customization today as well i have to say i think that this looks really good i'm hoping you guys don't hate the customization but uh i guess we'll have to see um when the video comes out what you guys think of my customization of the obey def drafter so that's pretty much all i have to say about this car like it doesn't really have any drawbacks it's you know just over seven hundred thousand at full price and for that much money, like it's a steal. You should you should buy one. Like everybody who's watching this should buy an Obey Adaptor after, after because well, it's just good. Like it's good in every single way. So why would you not buy one, right? Like it's uh it's definitely not gonna win you races, but other than that, oh my god, okay. Other than that, I mean it's a great car. So, you know. If you're interested in it, definitely pick it up. Uh, no matter if it's on discount, no matter if it's at full price, it is one hundred percent worth picking up this car. Uh, for sure. Anyway guys, uh, that's pretty much it for my customization and review of the Obey 8F Drafter. The car is a little bit uh, a little bit thrashed now. I've had some pretty unfortunate crashes in this uh, in this review segment, which doesn't happen very often. But uh... anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below. Let me know you thought of the customization. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Dislike if you didn't, of course. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.